call a racist no longer makes me uncomfortable. It just doesn't because I've accepted the fact that um, I am racist. I was born and raised in the South. I'm a white woman um, and I have a lot of unlearning to do. My racism is not, it's not a character defect. It's not a moral failing. It's just the result of a lifetime of indoctrination um, in a very racist country. Now it's a character defect and a moral failing if I don't choose to do anything about it, but I am choosing to do something about it. Um, somebody asked me about white privilege in my direct messages. I want to answer it. Um, I hate talking about race though, just because it just, um, I, I just would rather leave that to someone else. However, based on this direct message, I do think that this is a person who is probably not going to listen to a black person and a black person is not going to have patience for this person. So I will do that. I'm going to talk about my lived experience. I'm not comparing being a woman to being black, indigenous, or a person of color. This is just, again, my lived experience. I graduated from college something like 20-something years ago and went into a field that is dominated by white men. If you live in the South, you know how it is, the good old boy network and the lunches and the golf course. Fun fact, Mr. Blue Dot was recruited by a company 20-something years ago where they took him to a steak dinner uh, followed by a strip club and a lap dance. And that really sucks for me, right? Well, the good news is that I'm a white woman. And so a lot of these men, I'm going to remind them of their wife or their daughter. So if they need some diversity on that white male team, they're probably going to hire me because I make them comfortable. Doesn't mean I'm not qualified for the job. Doesn't mean I didn't work hard. Just means I've got a little bit of an advantage. But these little advantages or disadvantages can change the entire trajectory of a person's life. My name is Lindsay. No one has ever thrown my resume in the trash because my name sounds too black or too ethnic. As a 45-year-old white woman, I can shop anywhere I want and nobody's going to follow me around worrying that I'm going to steal something. I can walk around in any neighborhood and no one's going to call the police on me because I look suspicious. I've never seen someone in a parking lot or the grocery store like grab their purse and hold onto it real tight when they see me because they think I'm going to steal it. And as a white woman, I don't have to worry about my kids being pulled over for driving while being black. Um, I actually rode in an Uber last week with a guy who told me he has been pulled over 10 times, 10 times, one, zero times for no reason other than being black and driving an Escalade. This is white privilege. Doesn't mean I have a good life. Doesn't mean I have an easy life. Just means I have fewer obstacles. Just means that I'm able to exist without being terrorized by law enforcement. If you are black, indigenous, or a person of color and you would like to elaborate on any of this in my comments, please feel free to do so and I will make sure that no one leaves um, nasty, rude comments. So there you go, white privilege.